Um, Jimmy, your overall thoughts on the game? Uh, I just thought we had uh, we stayed resilient. And, you know, we had a uh, you know, trouble scoring in the first half, but we came out the second half and really locked in on both ends. And our defense led to our offense, so he was able to knock shots down and it really helped us. And I'm glad we got a victory. So you just said you're the best scorer on the team. You make shots, even when you miss them, you keep going. How how do you keep that up? Uh, I just have confidence in myself, and um, you know, more than that, my teammates give me confidence day in and day out, in games and in practice. You know, to be yourself and do what you do, and you know, I always have confidence in my ability to score the ball, and you know, have my teammates push me like that just gives me that much more so what did you what did you see there I think you hit like three threes in the first six minutes of the second half what did you see there as far as these are my spots this is where I got to step up and um, it was it really wasn't so much that it was just uh you know just go out there and be aggressive you know and, and you know I felt like I was a little passive in the first half of time so the second half I just want to come out and be aggressive and you know just do what I do best Talk about your progression as far as just seeing guys when when you're driving. You've had a, last few games a lot of kicks to open shooters, a lot of big assists. Just talk about that progression for you. Uh, just uh, you know being um, you know being aware of you know the court. You know I know that when I beat guys off the dribble, they're gonna collapse. And just being able to you know see the floor, keep my head up while I'm attacking and, and find guys. I feel like it's the the next thing I can really um, do to evolve my game. So I try to you know uh, be aware of that game in and game out, and you know when to collapse just make the right play and, and find my teammates. So, And I know they're going to knock the shots down because I believe in them, and they put in a lot of work just like I do. So when I kick it out to them, I know the shot's going in. That's why a lot of times I celebrate and you know throw something in there before they make it because you know I have confidence in my teammates like that. So. Do, you en do you enjoy a made three by yourself more or one by a teammate off a pass for you? Uh, it probably have to be off a teammate because I know at that time, like when I drive and kick to a teammate, I can celebrate for them. You know, I know when I'm hitting shots, they're doing the same for me. So, you know, I cherish being able to do that for those guys that you know may not uh, hit that many threes all the time or you know score as much. But when they have the opportunity to do it, I want to celebrate for them and let them know that I appreciate everything they bring to the table. So I feel like that's more you know what I like. Can you just talk a little bit about you know what changed offensively going into the second half? Um, were you attacking the zone any differently? You know what was it? Um, like I said, it was just me being aggressive. You know, Coach Brennan just said, uh, you know, um, air on the side of being aggressive. And, you know, when he told me that, it just gave me the green light in my head to, you know, go out there and just take shots that I knew I could make. And, you know, if I had space or, you know, if a guy closed out short, you know, I was going to shoot it. And um, not just having confidence in, you know, my ability. So. And also just like as a team, you know, what did you guys do? Um, as a team, we just, we knew that we were going to figure it out, you know, just take shots that were there. I feel like, you know, a lot of guys on the team at halftime said that we passed up on shots we should have took. And, you know, um, coming out in the second half, we just wanted to you know, move the ball around, get into the middle, and when we got threes, to knock them down and take it with confidence and not hesitate. So, Jameer, what's it been like for the team, for the guys, as Saeed gets closer and closer and closer to the all-time scoring record? Uh, it's, it's been special, man. You know, we're all uh, we're all aware of it, and um, you know, we just try to let him go out there and play. We don't talk too much about it. We know that he knows, and you know, we all know. So, you know, he's a great player, man. He has a great career here, and you know, we're trying to have it end off real special with a bid to the NCAA tournament. So, you know, he. I know he's aware of it, and like I said, we all are too, but, you know, he's just uh, focusing on getting wins, and, you know, that's what we're all trying to do, just to take the pressure off of him um, accomplishing that. So Thinking back to you in October saying that, you know, the team goal, you said it boldly, was to, to win the Patriot League tournament. How close do you think you guys are to the team that can accomplish that in a couple um, of weeks? You know, I feel like we still got some work to do, but mentally, um, you know, as far as how hard we're working, uh, we're in the right mindset to get it done. You know, I think we have all the talent um, from every guy on the team to, to get it done and you know we're playing better and better as a team figuring out ways to win like when we're not scoring well in the first half and that's important so you know I feel like you know we have everything we need we got to just you know keep working and keep at it you know the season's not over yet we still got games to finish out and we got to take every game like it's a championship game and I feel like if we do that which we have been doing then we'll be fine thanks for me thank you Appreciate it. Congrats.